Yes, now we'll discuss about the superficial perineal pouch. Here in this diagram, you have seen that this part, this portion here, this is formed by two muscles that is deep transverse perineal muscle and sphincter urethra. Here is position of urethra. Urethra. This is sphincter urethra muscle. And these two muscles form urogenital diaphragm. This urogenital diaphragm is superiorly covered by this layer that is superior fascia of the urogenital diaphragm. Inferior it is covered by inferior fascia of the urogenital diaphragm. This inferior fascia is thickened and forms perineal membrane. This is perineal membrane. So in between these two fascia, superior and inferior fascia, this urogenital diaphragm is present. And there is two pouch in relation to this perineal membrane. One pouch is superficial to this, from here to here, this portion, and one pouch is deep to this. This is deep perineal pouch between perineal membrane and superior fascia of the urogenital diaphragm. This is deep perineal pouch, and this is superficial to this, this superficial perineal pouch. There are two perineal pouches. So now we will discuss about the superficial perineal pouch. If you cut a coronal section, you will find there is ischiopubic ramus. This is ischiopubic ramus. And here is this is perineal membrane. This is thickened perineal membrane. Our inferior fascia of urogenital diaphragm is thickened from the perineal membrane. This. And here is superior fascia of the urogenital diaphragm. This is superior fascia of the urogenital diaphragm. These two pierced by urethra. Here is urethra. This is urethra. Here is bulb of urethra. This is urethra. And here is one muscle that is obturator internus muscle. This is obturator internus muscle. It is covered by obturator fascia. This is obturator fascia. Obturator internus muscle. This is obturator internus muscle. This is colis fascia. This is colis fascia. Here. This is colis fascia. This fascia is colis fascia. And this is space from perineal membrane to colis fascia. This is superficial perineal pouch. And this space is deep perineal pouch. This space is deep perineal pouch. This superficial perineal pouch is bounded superiorly by perineal membrane. This is perineal membrane. Inferiorly by colish fascia. Inferiorly by colish fascia. And on each side, ischiopubic ramus. These are two ischiopubic ramus. Posteriorly, this is space, posteriorly it is closed by joining the colis fascia with perineal membrane. Anterior it is open, it opens into space of the scrotum, space of penis and anterior abdominal wall. 
So this is boundary of the superficial perineal pouch. So after boundary, after boundary, we will discuss about the content of the superficial perineal pouch. Now, what are the content of this? Here is one gland that is bulbo urethral gland. It pierces this and open into bulb. And the content is this bulb is covered by a muscle known as bulbo spongiosus. This muscle is bulbo spongiosus. And here is crust of the pelvis. This is a crust, a crura. And this is covered by ischiochyranosus muscle. This is covered by ischiochyranosus muscle. So this is ischiochyranosus and this is bulbo spongiosus muscle. And another structure here is posterior scrotal nerve. We have posterior scrotal nerve. And here is vessels, artery and vein. Posterior scrotal artery and posterior scrotal vein. So these structures present here. Another thing, if you see this superficial perineal pouch from below, after removing these structures, it will be like this. This is ischiopubic ramus. Here is ischiopubic ramus. Here is perineal membrane and here is opening. Yes. This is perineal membrane. This is crust of the pelvis. These two are the crura of the crust. And covered by these muscles known as ischiochyranosus muscle. So these are ischiochyranosus muscle, these two muscles, ischiochyranosus. This is ischiochyranosus muscle. And here is a bulb. This bulb is covered by bulbo spongiosus. This is bulb is covered by muscle. This is bulbo spongiosus. So this muscle is bulbo spongiosus. And another muscle is superficial transverse perineal. We are superficial transverse perineal muscle. Here is perineal body. This is perineal body. Superficial transverse perineal muscle. Bulbo spongiosus and ischiochyranosus. These muscles are present in this region. Superficial perineal pouch and these vessels are and nerves. Posterior scrotal nerve and vessels are present here. Here, this is bulbo urethral gland. This duct pierces this. Membrane. So these structures present in case of male. In case of female, if you cut a section, this here is up to the internus. This is perineal membrane. This is perineal membrane. It is pierced by 
This section passes through level of vagina, which is PS by vagina. Here is Bartholin gland. This gland is Bartholin gland. Here is Collis fascia. This is Collis fascia. This is Collis fascia. Here is Bulba vestibule. Here is Bulba vestibule. Here is Cross of clitoris. These are the cross of clitoris. So this is superficial perineal power between collis fascia and perineal membrane. On each side is two pubic If you see from inner, from lower side, from here, after removing these structures, you will find this is ischiopubic ramus. This is perineal membrane. Here, there is one opening that is urethra vagina. There is crust of clitoris. It is covered by ischio cavernosus. This is covered by ischio cavernosus. This is covered by ischio cavernosus. This is clitoris. This is covered by ischio cavernosus. And here is another structure that is bulb of vestibule. This is bulb of vestibule. It is covered by bulbospongiosus muscle. This muscle is bulbospongiosus. This is bulb of vestibule. This is bulb of vestibule and it's covered by bulbospongiosus. So here is bulbospongiosus. And under muscle that is superficial transverse perineal. Superficial transverse perineal. So these muscles are present in superficial perineal pouch and vessels. Here is posterior labial artery and posterior labial nerve. Posterior labial vein. So these structures present in the superficial perineal pouch of male and female.